Hello and welcome to Filling in the Gaps. I'm Justin and today I'm coming to you from a hotel bathroom because doing it in the bedroom, well, there's a lot of traffic so it's this or nothing. Apologies for the sound. I know it's not up to what we normally do. Now on our podcast we often talk about Steam and Steam sales but today we're actually going to be talking about Green Man Gaming. This is another website where you can buy keys and they've got a summer sale going on. So you might say, why didn't you just do a summer sale? Well, yes, but here's another one. And let's just be transparent here. They asked us to push it and said that they liked our podcast. And well, one, we like flattery and two, we like deals. So here we are. The Green Man Gaming Summer Sale is broken up into three tiers. So there's a gold, silver, and bronze tier. I'm not exactly sure what makes these tiers separate. Most of the gold games seem to be newer. Silver, some older, and bronze kind of the oldest and maybe have the biggest discounts, but really, I'm not sure. Uh, one of the special features of this sale is they have a set list of games for each tier. So if you buy a gold game, you can also get a free game off of their gold tier list. Same goes for silver and a silver game, bronze and a bronze game. Obviously the gold games probably better. Uh, silver, there are still some good games in there. Bronze, some hit or miss. There's a couple that are definitely buyer's remorse episodes coming up, whether that's good or bad, we'll have to find out. But as far as this sale, here's what I would suggest. Read their blog details about the summer sale because it explains it a lot better than I ever could. There's also some freebies you can get from Intel if you sign up with them. One of them is a game called, I think, The Time of Echo, which has Will Wheaton voicing and a few other people. It looks kind of interesting. I'm really tempted to get in on the sale just to get that one for free. As far as my recommendations, I picked four. So there are going to be two games that I want to play and two games that I have played before. Now when I said gold is newer, but that doesn't always mean expensive games. And the first game I picked is a good example of that, Supra Land. Let me say that one more time just so it's clear. Supra Land. It's a game that's only $20 at base, but it's on sale. You can even go to Steam and download the demo if you want to give it a try, but this game has an overwhelmingly positive review and has a lot of reviews. It's a sandbox game, literally. We're kind of a toy stick man running around. You're in first person, you explore, you find upgrades, you solve puzzles, you beat up monsters. It sounds exactly like the kind of fun game I would love to play. And it feels very much like a summer game to play. So that's my first recommendation. My next recommendation is off the silver list and that is My Memory of Us. Now again, I've not played this game so I can't recommend it completely, but it's got great reviews. It looks beautiful and it's narrated by Patrick Stewart. That alone makes me want to play this game. You are two different characters that have some slightly different abilities. It looks like a fun game, but keep in mind it is a serious story about wartime. So even though it looks really cute, from all I've heard, there's some very, very serious story in there. Now, as far as games I've played, the first one is off the gold list, and this one is Okami, O-K-A-M-I. This is a game where you gain magic, and the way you cast it is by writing it out. Now, I played it on console. I used a controller. I don't know how this works on PC with keyboard and mouse, but it just feels intuitive once you really get into it. It has a great little story. There's a great progression of earning powers. It starts to get a bit repetitive for me at the end, which is why I'm so glad that it's the length that it is. It's just the right length for this kind of game. I definitely recommend Okami. The last game I'm gonna recommend is Dead Rising. Yes, this is my zombie love coming out, but this is a good game. 
again short, but probably the right length. It's one that lasts a few days in game time. It's easy the first day, but it really ramps up quickly. And that's kind of the way a good zombie movie works. So it's great that this game works that way as well. You can use almost anything in the store that you're trapped in. I mean, you're in a mall. It's basically Dawn of the Dead. You get to grab whatever you can and attack from using worthless CDs to bowling balls, which by the way, has an amazing sound effect. And as well, there are these amazing achievements that you can accomplish by, I can't remember exactly, it's like putting so many cones on zombies' heads or trying to get down a certain number of zombies with a bowling ball. This game is both serious horror because there are real repercussions to what you and your character do, and yet it's totally over the top ridiculous. I don't know why that works, but in this game it does. If you like zombie games and you haven't played Dead Rising, I highly recommend it.